Hey, Farmer fans, welcome to this week's edition of the Farmersville Coaches Show. We're back here with Coach Quinlan again. So, Coach, congratulations on staying undefeated. Mm -hmm. But this last game was a little roller coaster of emotions, especially for the fans. So let's talk about that first half. Probably the best half of football that we've played all year long. Um, what kind of keyed that? What did you guys have planned coming out to get off to that fast start? You know, we had a good plan coming into the game. Our coaches did a great job game planning them and, and you know, our big thing, like we talked about prior to the game, was being as physical as they were. And I thought we came out and and probably were more physical than they were. And you know that led to us being able to run the ball down their throat when we needed to. And defensively, we played physical and fast and and tackled well and and did the things that we had to do to make sure that they weren't moving the ball very well. Well, in that second half, I mean, at the end of the first half, you felt a little momentum swing. Luckily, the half ended when it did, but they the Braves were able to carry that into that second mm -hmm. half. And then it was one of those where we really had to dig down, fight, you know, that word grit that you guys use all the time, kind of rose up and we're able to to keep them off the scoreboard when it mattered at the end. But mm -hmm. let's talk about that second half. Like what kind of happened there? What did you guys learn? You know, I think we relaxed a little bit. I mean, being up 35-7, you know, we're, we're still learning how to win. I mean, yeah, we've won three in a row, four in, in my mind, right. uh, you know, but the, we're still learning how to win those games and, and against a team that's not going to shut down on you. And, uh, you know, that was the, what we preached coming out is that we needed to come out and get a stop and, and take it down and drive and score early in the first half. And that didn't happen. And we gave them hope and, and a little bit of air. And, you know, they fought back. They did a great job. You know, those community kids never gave up, never shut it down. They just kept fighting and, and clawing back in it. And, and luckily, at the end of the game, we, we woke back up and, and started playing again, and offensively especially, right. and, and and created a situation where we could win. Well, you're talking about the offense, and we've talked about this in every show really this year, that offensive line being a strength of the team. Rushed for, was it over 300 this week? Is that what it was? I don't remember the exact number, but we've been, I mean, we've been able to run the ball at will, and that's, you know, the... I keep telling our offensive guys, somebody's going to stop us running the football. We've got to be able to throw the football. And we, we work it every week and, and prepare for it. But, you know, until somebody takes it away, that's a high percentage play when we can turn around and hand that ball off and we're winning right. up front. And so why why stop doing it until somebody stops us from doing it? Why stop doing it? So well, It allows you to mindset. dictate the game from that standpoint, controlling mm -hmm. the clock and, uh, you know, keeping weapons off the field from the other team. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about Bridgeport then, this, this week's opponent. You know, what's kind of the plan? I mean, you're you know, halfway through the season. you got a lot more tape now on some of these teams, and I know you guys do a really good job of game planning. What do you see on tape from Bridgeport? What are you guys kind of hoping to do and accomplish this week? You know, they're, they're, a, they're a beatable football team. I mean, um, and that's a good thing. We need we need a district win. We haven't had one in, a, in over a year. So um, we need to go find a district win, and this is one that I think that we can go get if we play our brand of football. Um, you know, it scares me traveling two hours down the road and, and typically we have not traveled well since I've been here. That's been one of our goals all year long is to win on the road and, and to have a winning record on the road. So this will be a big step towards that. Um, you know, they, they're a mouthy football team. So we're going to have to be able to handle that and not get caught up in, in yeah. all the, all the talking and talk with our pads and let the scoreboard talk at the end. Um, but you know, I think that, you know, our plan is good going in. Uh, defensively, they, they fit what we like to do better than what, you know, a, a community does. Um, they're not going to run right at us a lot. They're going to try to move the ball, spread the ball around and, and spread the field. And, you know, defensively, I think that plays into our hands a little bit. Um, but, you know, and offensively, I think that we're going to do what we do. And then, like I said, until somebody takes it away from us, we're just going to keep doing it. Right. Yeah. Uh, every week we like to talk about the lower levels. I know one of the teams didn't get to play last week because of some weather mm -hmm. that came through there. So how do you get this kind of like what your varsity had to go through with skipping that week with pilot point. So what do you do for those guys to kind of get them going, do a little one-on-one -on -one action and, yeah. and practice? I mean, uh, you know, our, our JV right now is four and oh, which is awesome. So, I mean, ultimately we're eight and oh as a program at the yeah. high school level, which is, is huge. Um, our, our junior high didn't get to play except for our B team last week, which was winning eight, nothing against crumb. Yeah. Um, uh, so, you know, the weather came through and we had to make a call and, and we made the right call cause that weather, we would have been home real late. Yeah. Um, but the, the, uh, you know, they're, they're all working real hard in practice. They're all doing the right things. I think, you know, potentially we were, we're five and zero at the JV levels on Thursday night and tomorrow we're playing tonight actually, as far as the junior high levels okay. and against North Lamar. So, um, 
I'm I'm excited to watch those guys play and and be able to actually see them in person because they've been traveling so much. It's been hard for me to get there. Right. Good. Well, coach, good luck this week. For those of you at home, uh, Bridgeport is a long ways. Like you said, mentioned over about two hours away. So there's a really cool community event this week. Fine Arts on Main is going to host a watching party. So you can come out and watch the uh, Farmersville game with the whole community. There's going to be some really cool uh, Hibbets ice cream is going to be there. There's going to be some other refreshments that are going to be served. So we invite you to come on out, watch the live stream with the farmer fans here in the community and, and cheer the farmers on to a victory. So, Coach, good luck again. Thank See you, you on, uh, on Friday. And for those of you at home, as always, go Farmers.